What I am going to do is not advisable to everyone. I am going to dismantle this lens and try to remove the molds that have grown inside. So let's see what we can do. This is the Nikon 24 to 120 millimeter 4 F4G ED. See these dirts? So if you are trying to clean this up with any program at all, it's gonna take a while. So every picture that I took with a sky looks like this. So I couldn't do anything. That's why I had to open it. This is a very useful lens for, especially for event photography. I use it every now and then when I'm covering an event or doing something. This works very well, except that there are molds inside and some dirts and it's affecting the pictures. So you have, you, you have to clean the photos in post processing and it takes a lot of time just to clean those photos. I brought this to the Kitamura and they actually did not want to receive this. They said they have to take it to the Nikon headquarters in Tokyo. And I would pay a lot of money just to have this cleaned. Now I'm taking a gamble here. I'm going to open this up and try to clean the molds. So let's go. So for this purpose, I bought these white globes. This microfiber is ready and I have this Fujifilm lens cleaning liquid, which is uh, contains containing no alcohol at all. And the first thing I'm trying to do is to remove the seal from this side of the lens. It looks like there's a gap here, so I will go in there. So I'm using this plastic guitar pick of mine to try to remove this seal. And I'm going around it. And there is a form of adhesive around here, so. Okay, there it is. These two holes are for the screw, so let's try to screw that out now i'm going to unscrew the front element carefully just putting this tweezer and rotate it counterclockwise and it's actually rotating okay careful that i will not scratch the front element ah, this is scary I'm trying my best to be careful here. And so far, I didn't have any major slip. Removing the front element is quite tricky. I thought it was easy, but yeah, removing this thing is quite difficult. Now I'm gonna try something else, maybe a harder object, because you have to push this to go around in a circle. And the tweezers actually don't fit in there. I actually was able to move the front element using this one on this side and so insert it there and yes just rotate okay i'm gonna do it one more and then just to be careful not to scratch the front element so here we go as gently as possible And there it is. Oh, it's just a ring again. So the front element is still there. 
I just removed the ring that's holding the front element. I don't know, so how do I get this out? On the side, there are two holes there. So I'm going to insert this tweezers on both sides, both holes, and try to rotate the front element. I think I got it. So, let me just move this back so you can see. Now I'm gonna have to twist it. There you go. It's twisting. And flip it over. And there it is. It's removed. There you are. And then the front element is off and it has two insulator stainless rings here. So there it is, the front element. Can I open the aperture and see? You can see the dirt there. After removing the front element, I tried to open the aperture like right here. I can't see any dirt anymore. I think the dirt is on the outer element only, the front element only. Hopefully that's the case, then I may not have to open the rest of the lenses, the, the part of the lenses inside. So now it's time to try to clean the front element. Put some drop of this and then let's try to wipe the inside of the front element. This is really scary. <laughs> I have never done anything like this before. Let's see if it, this, this works. If it does, then perfect. I don't have to spend money. But if not, that's question, big question. So I think it's clean. Now let me get it back. Now before we put it back, inside maybe there are some dust that came in so we have to air clean these things It looks like there is still the adhesives there. So I'm just going to put it there and carefully push it around. Still not touching the front element. And there it is. It's back. It is the moment of truth. We're gonna test this with a D750 and let's see if it work and if it will work normally as before. So no problem with the focusing system. Something white so we can see if there's dirt still. Now I'm gonna take a picture of this wall. So this is the wall, if you try to zoom in, I couldn't see any dirt at all. I think it worked. So it looks to me like we did it, we were able to clean 
at least the inside of the front element so you are able to open this up without any problem at all using this guitar pick to remove the seal the first one to be removed and then this pair of tweezers which we try to use and open parts of the rings and the locks and this one was used to remove uh that ring that locks the whole front element in place and this is the fujifilm lens cleaning liquid microfiber cloth and this faithful airbrush and that's it hopefully if we try to use it uh, outside and get some skies again the skies will be perfectly clear this is not to encourage everyone to open up it was just that i don't know what to do the camera company or the camera store doesn't want to open it up and then the advice was to give it to the manufacturer give it back to the manufacturer and uh, you will pay a lot which is a thing that i cannot do right now because i'm broke at the moment so that's why i tried to clean it all by myself hopefully there will be no problem and i hope this gives you the idea on how to do things like this but if you're not sure please don't do it thank you for watching me doing this a scary thing i hope to see you again on the next video goodbye